Welcome to the weekly wrap up. This is the second week in a row where interest rates are ending the week exactly where they started. And midweek this week, we did have a little bit better interest rates, but they lost a little bit of steam as the week went on. So we are still seeing some volatility, but not a ton, which is a good thing. Wow, the media's spin on the changes for conventional interest rates and the credit scores has been nothing short of crazy. The amount of phone calls, emails, texts that we have received asking and clarifying and what, why does this make sense um, has been off the charts. I'm going to go ahead and craft an email and you know you guys can send it out to your clients. Um, but if your clients have immediate questions or if you have immediate questions, call us. We can walk people through it. It is hard to kind of get or understand. Um, but at the end of the day, good credit people are still getting way better interest rates than people with a little lesser credit. It's just the people with lesser credit, they're not getting hit as hard as they once were, but there is still a big difference. And then the last thing I've got to report to you is we are seeing a real uptick in consumers shopping around for mortgages, which I completely understand. I'm a consumer too. The challenge is when they're looking at the estimates that they're getting, they are looking and saying lower interest rate, same cash to close, they're better. And why I know this is because we went through two of these this week with that exact same situation. And what we found was they were charging points to get the lower interest rate. And then they were reducing um, or not necessarily reducing, but probably shorting a little bit the title fees, the amount they would have to collect for taxes and insurance. They were showing um, credit and appraisal and things like that paid outside of closing, which means you're paying them in advance before the loan even starts. So it's being credited on the estimates, but it is still part of the cost. So what we're really finding is when a client looks at the rate and the cash to close, and the cash to close is the same and the rate's lower, they think, oh, good deal. But when we really broke it down, that deal was much more expensive because the title company fees are gonna be whatever they are. And the escrows, those are gonna be whatever they are based on the homeowner's, ins uh, homeowner's insurance the client receives and the real estate tax on the property. And by law, we have to collect a certain amount. We don't get to decide, but on the estimates, we do. So I would challenge all of you, if you have clients that are kind of shopping or those kind of things, um, let us look at the estimates because it is not always what meets the eye. And because we look at them every single day, we can very clearly pinpoint where things are being shorted. Or the other thing is, if it is a screaming good deal, we'll tell them. Our job is to take care of your clients, whether it is with us or somebody else and giving them that good advice. That's what will bring us referrals and you. Let us know if you've got any other questions. We'll talk to you soon.